Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today, okay, I thought about this before I sat down, like I can't, this is, um, I want to do like it red with me, am I a little bit off maybe? Um, I want to do like get red with me, but I like I can't name every video on my channel like get red with me. So I don't know. I need to come up with a better name. Um, but I don't know what. But today I'm doing <laughs> get red with me. I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to talk about things. And I have been thinking about the subject for a while. Okay, I'm going to start to put on my eyeshadow primer and yes, I am a little bit sick or I have had a cold, a normal cold because they still do exist. So my voice is <clears throat> not the best, um, but yeah, it was really, yeah. <laughs> I, I was not that sick. I have just been, my throat has been hurting, my nose has been runny. And my voice isn't super great, but yeah, it was a normal cold. Um, but yeah, I have been thinking about this and I haven't done any notes about it, which I maybe should have done. But I'm going to try to just talk whatever comes out and we will see <laughs> how this will go. I am going to use uh, one of my favorite palettes side by side by Nabla and I also have two of the two recents the new chic things I think I would use one of the <clears throat> one of these I don't know yeah you, you hear maybe I can't survive this video and I also have a new lip gloss that I might use from LH Cosmetics Um, it's coming a Black Friday haul when I have got all my stuff. I'm waiting for, I think just one package from Lethal and then I'm done. So yeah, okay, I'm just going to do a nice easy makeup. And the thing I wanted to talk about is, I have touched on this subject before. I don't think I've talked super much about this. I can't actually remember but it is about using makeup as maybe I don't know to say therapy sounds maybe a little bit strange but uh, in s like somewhat as a therapy thing and how I can feel when other people that I watch talk about wearable makeup, everyday makeup, and uh, things like that. If you are known to my channel, you know that I often do really colorful makeup and uh, really dark makeup and I do put on... I do not have many videos on my channel where I'm not wearing makeup because this is a makeup channel and that is how I want it to be. But I sometimes, okay, I don't even know how to start with this. What I want to talk about is wearing makeup just for YouTube. M wearing makeup just for a video. Maybe that is good <laughs> thing, name. Wearing YouTube, no, wearing makeup just for YouTube. Maybe I should have started with that. But yeah, as you may know, I do not wear makeup on a daily basis. The only thing I do almost every day, if I'm not leaving the apartment, sometimes I do not do this, but I do my eyebrows every day because yeah, you see how now I have some color in them, but normally if I do not color them, they are lighter than this. And I do like the look of having eyebrows. But that is the only thing I do every day when I'm going to work. And uh, one reason for that is because I start at 6 a.m. And I do not want to go up even earlier 
just to do my makeup. It's like, it's not happening. I'm not going up at four just to be able to do like a full face. And the second thing is I work in a really manly, <laughs> at a manly place. I work at a warehouse and I guess it's like 90% men and 10% uh, women. And I work with, I'm a consignee. Um, so I talk with a lot of truck drivers all day and how hard or how dumb this may sound, I don't want to make myself look good or pretty at work. For example, we have like uh, casual Fridays at work and if I'm going to wear something, I don't want it to be too tight and I don't want to have like a lower... Yeah, I like like this or like a normal shirt like this. I don't want to have anything deeper because I don't want looks and I don't want any comments. And I can promise you, um, you will have that if you have two nice things on you. And that may sound like, yeah, it's wrong, uh, but, but I'm like, it's just how it is. And I hate that that is like that, but it just, it is what it is. So, <laughs> I do not wear makeup on a daily basis. And it's when, like, I'm coming home from work and me and my boyfriend are going to do something after work or I'm going to see a friend or we're going out to take a coffee or something. I usually don't put on a full face of makeup because then it feels like I need to clean my face and I, yeah, it takes just a longer time. So in my normal day-to-day -day life, I do not use that much makeup because I just don't. So I mainly use makeup for YouTube. And I often do my makeup after work because I do film on weekdays as well. And then I'm putting it on, filming a video or maybe two, and then I'm taking the makeup off again. And I know that this might sound like stupid. Is it like, do you not want to go out like that? Do you not want to, I don't know. But that is what I do. And I usually don't have my makeup on for that long. Maybe like four or five hours before I'm going to bed. Like today it's Saturday and I'm going out um, we are going to do some grocery shopping and stuff and yeah I'm doing this neutral makeup and I could go out in a full face of really colorful makeup but if I can choose I'd rather go out in this one Mainly because I do not like people look at me. <laughs> and also because I I don't know if I should say that I feel more comfortable in this, but yeah, in one way I do. But also I do like to have on neutral makeup as well. And for me, makeup is more like I want to experiment should have I used this really? Yeah. I like to experiment with makeup and that is what I'm doing when I'm doing my super colorful looks. And it's more like having a little of a therapy session and just don't think about other things in that moment like maybe for a half an hour when I'm filming a video and putting on makeup I just think about that I don't think about anything else so putting on makeup is kind of a therapy for me and I do like to experiment scatter uh, I do like to experiment with colors on camera because you never know how it's going to look 
And I have... I do not know if I should say that I have been feel ashamed about this and like kept it like a secret that I normally don't go out in super colorful makeup. But I just don't and I believe that <laughs> there are you that watch me that do the same thing. Like you do not always go out in super colorful makeup and you maybe do it for yourself at home and that is completely okay. Also like with neutral makeup it's always a safe card I think. Like if me and my boyfriend is going out to dinner. Yeah, sometimes I do a smoky eye or maybe an orange eye because that I know that I know what I'm doing. But like trying to start to experiment with a super colorful halo eye. Maybe I do not have time for that because what if it goes like shit? And we have to go. So yeah, I don't know where I want to go with this. Maybe just to tell you that in my day-to-day -day life I am not a colorful makeup consumer. I do not wear super colorful makeup. Maybe that's just all that I wanted to be saying with this, I don't know. You see, this is why I should think things through a little bit more, but sometimes I feel like the best videos when I talk about this is just when I'm sitting down, have just like the big picture, but not all the details to it. This palette, it is something about this. Just do love it so, so much. And I think that it is important to know that makeup is different for everybody. And I know that some of my friends I have here on YouTube use makeup as the same way as I do, or friends that I have gotten through YouTube do makeup for the same reason as I do, to be creative. And I, this I have talked about, I I don't see myself as a creative person. I know that not all of you agree with me, but like I have never been good with painting or... I can't see things in front of me before I really do them. I have though, when I jig, when I jig, when I went to yeah, high school, but in Sweden it seemed gymnasium, but yeah, from your 16 to 19, it's the last school that you need to go to in Sweden. Um, I did study music and I thought that was fun. I thought it was fun to play piano and to play bass and uh, I know that that is like a creative in some shape or form. <laughs> but other than that I do not see myself as a creative person and I think though I have an outlet for it and that outlet is makeup. I think I mainly do makeup because I think it's fun to experiment with different colors. And I think it's fun to see like how how it can look rather than do it to look really nice. And no, I am not the most experimented person. <laughs> they do the most crazy looks, but I hope that you get what I mean. And now I have done. I hope that you get what I mean. And okay, now I'm done with the lids, so I'm going to take off my fallout. Okay, so for this makeup, I have <laughs> used my like favorite combo, I think, in this palette. Um, half time in my crease, beauty mark on my outer lid, and a little bit in my crease, and then ray of light as a half cut crease. I love to do this look because it's it's so simple and it's just really really nice and I think these colors look really good on me. 
Okay, now I'm going to do my base makeup. And I'm going to use my Fenty Drops. But I don't know what I want to use for primer. Maybe I should take the high glass primer. This is almost empty and I think that this is no longer available. It makes me cry. Maybe I should check that when we are going shopping today and see if it is like on sale on H&M or something. But yeah, that was the main thing that I wanted to talk about. So maybe I could end this video here. Why is it always like this? And also with like wearing super colorful makeup on an everyday basis. Maybe not every workplace is okay with that. With my work, I actually don't know. I think that no one would care. Like... I don't get sent home, but I think if you like work on maybe in some offices, maybe you're not allowed to look how you want. But like at my work, it's no problems like having tattoos, facial tattoos, tattoos on your hands, be covered in tattoos, or have like me stretched ear and facial piercings. There is no that is completely okay and I did stretch my ears when I was at my kernel, current, kernel, <laughs> current work and I also did pierce my septum when I already worked there and the only questions I got was like is that septum ring real and I was like yeah and like did it hurt it was nothing more than that and also with my ears it was like does it hurt how big are you going to go that was like the only questions I got mm, so I think like if I would have super colorful makeup I don't think anybody I, they would comment on it but I would not get sent home for looking crazy <laughs> and I know that that is not Okay on every work. I think that Sweden is kind of open with like tattoos and piercings overall. Um, what I know. Maybe in some types of works it's more okay. Like my boyfriend is a carpenter sort of. I maybe should have learned what his work is uh, in English, but if you work like that, or as a builder, or like driving a truck or something, you can look however you want in Sweden. I think that Sweden is that I. <laughs> do you like about Sweden? Yes, people do stare. People do stare at me even though I look kind of normal. But it's nothing like only criminals have tattoos. Yeah, maybe some older people, but like overall and yeah, I do like that about Sweden. I don't know if it is if it is like we are accepting things or it's just like if you didn't know this about Sweden, we do not talk to each other. We do not talk to strangers, like ever. If you have ever seen like a meme from a Swedish like bus stop or anything, that is true. I can show a picture here if I found it, find it. That is like true. That is how we are. And uh, on that note, I am a typical Swede. I do not like to talk to strangers. Wait, how, how did I even get to that one? I don't know. And I guess that you hear now that I don't know what to talk about anymore. Okay, so the two reasons from Nabla I bought. I thought it was so hard. I did find a really good video. I can't remember her name. 
um, but I will leave it down in the description. She did a really really good video swatching all of these like face swatches and I don't know how many minutes I spent on watching her <laughs> swatches. So I bought the Berry Nude. This looks so so dark. And I also bought soft nude so this is the chic color and this is kind of like you could use it as like a highlighter if you want to and i think i want to go with this one and i don't know how i want to put this on she did put it on with the fingers is there any like hello no instructions instruct me the stupid one because like I also want to set my base, but I don't guess, I don't guess, I don't think I should put this over my powder. Or could I? No, okay, I think I will put this first. So I'm going to take soft nude. Should I maybe, maybe, maybe. Where are you? Hello, sir. Maybe I should put on a contour stick first. Okay, so, so. Just feels like I'm all gooey on my hands and I don't have anything to wipe them off with. Yeah, I do. I have a wipe. Okay, so I'm going to try this now in soft. New. So I'm going to have this on my cheek as a blush and I'm going to see if I can have this as a highlighter because it's not what I know. I haven't swatched this yet. It's not that pigmented. But okay, should I use my fingers? Okay, it looks really nice on my finger. And this eye... I just never know how to do this. Can somebody please help me? I got a comment that a stippling brush is good for this, but I do not have a good stippling brush. I guess because uh, the stippling brushes I have does not work <laughs> so I don't know if the stippling brushes it's wrong with or if it's me and I don't know I, I didn't do this on this chic but the video I watched she started from like the apple instead of in here and I think I might should do that because with my powder blushes I always start from here and maybe I should start from the outside and going upwards. No, oh, and I think I got too much. Oh, Jesus! Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Okay, so this is also a problem when doing YouTube makeup and doing makeup for the real world. It's like this, maybe not showing that much on camera because I have studio lights and everything. But when I go out in the real world, it's going to look pretty much. Maybe. Okay, I think I do like it. I think. Maybe not. Poopies. Okay, should we do stupid things and go in with this one as a highlighter thingy? If I take it on my pinky. It just looks glossy. Like really, really glossy. I think it gives a little bit of a gloss. More than like a shimmer. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it there maybe? And I don't have this super strong light on. Okay, but do you know what? I still don't think I want to set my face, so I'm going to do that. And I'm taking my trusty Nabla, and for some stupid reason, I didn't buy a new powder. And it's like, yeah, maybe I should have done that. Because I do love this powder. 
even though I think it might be for more like oily skin than what I have. And it's now like with powder products, I guess it's going. this is going to take away the shine from them. Okay, I think if I go in with the shimmer thingy, like clear gloss and put it now on top of the powder. And I know that some like cream products you could use over a um, set base. I don't know if this is one of them. I actually think it is. Because this did not lift anything. And it do looks pretty good actually. Okay, do you know what? I do not have that much more to talk about and I'm going to do my lower lash and my brows and uh, putting something on my lips. I think I might take this new gloss from LH Cosmetic. This is in Dusty Rose. I don't know. I do love these. Just one drop of box. Yeah, maybe I will take that or I will take one of the other ones because I have them all now. But yeah, I will fix the rest of my face and I will come back to you and just wrap up this video, show the finished look if you even don't care, I don't know. But yeah, and I'm going to put on some setting spray and see like how it feels with it. <coughs> uh, see how it feels with everything. But okay. I'm going to finish up this look, I come back and then I'm going to end this video. I did change my mind about the lipstick. I took a magic stick from LH Cosmetics that in sepia. I I do like this color. I don't know though. Do I want to have this color on? Or maybe I should have gone in with the soft nude because you can have this on your lips as well. Like I could have this on my lips. Do you know what? I'm going to try that. Maybe not my favorite, maybe I change. Maybe I change it before we go out, I don't know. But okay, this is my finished look. I do really like it and I think if I would do makeup on a daily basis, I actually think that this would be something that I would do pretty often because it's easy. I really like how it looks and it suits me and I do think I like this. I maybe like this glossy more as an highlight because now I have sprayed also with setting spray but I could lay this over my powder and it looks really it's just like a gloss I do really like it so yeah I don't know I do not like to use my fingers but I do not have a super good stippling brush either maybe I have that I I maybe should go through my brushes and see and I will use this someday, I guess. <laughs> the soft, no, the very nude. The only thing is these are going to get so dirty. Like, so, so dirty. But okay, that was all for this video. I don't want to... I think I want to try to come up with a better name than Get Red With Me and name all my videos Get Red With Me. Um, but I don't know what. If you have a good idea, please help me. Um, even though I think Get Red With Me is maybe good, but to only have Get Red With Me is because I feel like this... If I'm, I'm planning on trying to have a no by year next year and maybe this is where my channel is going. Um, I think I want that. I don't know, but okay, whatever. I hope you liked this video, and if you disagree with me, it's fine, and if you agree with me, I'm happy, and if this helped in any way, shape, or form, I'm happy for that as well. Now I'm going to eat some tacos. It's stupid to have lipstick on then. Whatever. I'm going to eat some tacos, then we are going out to buy some food, and I going to see if I can find this in H&M. I don't think it's available anymore. And um, I might buy some other makeup. 
I don't know. But yeah, and also a Black Friday haul is coming. I'm just waiting for one more package. And spoiler alert, I didn't buy everything that I said that I would buy. Because, yeah, I, I'm going to talk about that in another video. But yeah, I do really hope you liked this video. And I will try to leave all the products that I've used on the description. But this side by side by Nobla, it's amazing. It's okay. I really hope you liked this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!